Today we're gonna make a fire breathing dragon. First, let's find the dragon in the sprite library. Let's use the search box, type dragon in there, hit enter, and we should be able to find it quickly. We don't need the default cat sprite, so let's go ahead and delete that. Now let's look at the costumes of the dragon here. We don't need the, uh, the flying costume, so let's just delete that one. And we're gonna modify this one with the fire, since we're gonna be making our own fire today. So select that, uh, go and click on the flame, and hit delete. Now let's change the name of the two remaining costumes. Uh, all we care about is that one of them has a mouth open and the other one closed, so that's what I'm gonna call them here. Now let's choose a backdrop. Uh, we're gonna find a nice forest, forest background. There's one here near the bottom, I think. There you go, that one. Now let's place our friend the dragon on the left side of the screen, somewhere. Maybe here. Or maybe a bit forward. Now we need a second sprite, we're gonna choose the, the ball and remove all the uh, costumes that we don't need, we're only going to use the yellow one for this. Okay, let's add some code now, make sure you have the ball selected, go to the events section, find the green flag, click the block, put it there, now go to the motion section and find the uh, go to block. and change the target of the go to block to the dragon. We're gonna make the ball go to the dragon when it starts. Now let's make the ball move to the right. So go to the control section, find the loop, the repeat, change the repeat number to 20. Now go to the motion section, find the change x by and change Y by block, one of each. Put them here. Now go to the operator section, find the random block, pick random. Put one in the change X block, put another one in the change Y block. Yeah, we want to make the horizontal movement, the change X, uh, sometimes faster, sometimes slower, so a random number between, say, five and seven would do that. And we want the, the Y motion up and down to just make it go sometimes up, sometimes down. So a range of minus 10 to 10 will do that. And for now, let's change the repeat number from 20 to 40, just to make it go longer. You can see that the ball seems to be coming out of the dragon's stomach. So let's change that. Go to motion, find the change X and Y blocks again. We're going to put this right underneath where it says go to dragon. So we should quickly go to where the dragon is and then we're going to adjust the position so it looks like it's uh, coming out of the mouth. So I'm just gonna change the uh, Y and X numbers until the ball starts looking like it's coming out of the dragon's mouth. That looks good. Now let's just make the ball slightly smaller, go to looks, find the set size block. And let's change that size to something slightly smaller than 100%, so say 70%. And now let's place that block right at the top, right at the beginning. So the ball starts uh, with a smaller size. Now let's add the change size block inside of the repeat with a small number so that the ball gets bigger as it moves. Next we're gonna use the color effect blocks to change the, uh, the color of the ball. We want it to go from red to yellow. Uh, if you know your color wheel, you know the red comes before yellow. Um, so we're going to change the initial color effect to something like minus 20 before yellow. And then we're gonna change the color effect by a small number in the loop 
so it starts going from red to yellow. It's actually it's going to overshoot and go all the way to green, but we're going to fix it in a moment. Uh, we're going to split the loop. Instead of uh, doing this 40 times, we're going to split this into two loops, each one of 20, and then we're going to make some changes. Now the idea here is that we first wanted to go from red to yellow. Uh, we wanted to get brighter as it moves. Uh, so we're also going to add the brightness effect in a little bit. And in the second section, we wanted to get darker. So we're also going to use a brightness effect for that, but just going in a different direction. So here we go. Um, and in that second section, we're also going to change the ghost effect. We're basically going to make it more and more transparent in the second second part. So it's gonna get more transparent and darker. So let's just find the rest of the blocks here. Yeah, also very important. If you're going to start changing the graphic effects, make sure that you have the clear graphic graphic effects uh, block at the top. So everything starts uh, normal next time you run. Now let's find the uh, brightness. Uh, effect here for this the first half we're going to change the brightness we're going to make it brighter so it's going to be a, a positive number uh, let's play with some numbers here again for the second section let's change that brightness but this time we want to make it darker so let's choose a negative number Let's click start, and that seems to work. Now I think that's perfect for our one ball. To create the fire effect though, uh, we're going to need many copies of this. So we're going to detach the green, black, green flag uh, block from what we have here, our code. Instead, go to control, find the forever loop, and the create clone block here. So basically, our ball is gonna be making many copies of itself. Then grab the when I start as a clone block and attach that to the code we had before. Uh, so each copy is gonna do what our ball was doing before. Uh, we basically have the fire now. Now if you can see that the original ball, the yellow ball, is right there on the right. So we're going to make uh, we're gonna hide it. Go to look, find the hide block, put it at the very top within the green flag block. So the original one is going to hide. We also want to make sure that the copies uh, uh, show up, otherwise they're all going to be invisible. So add the show block in when I start as a clone. And basically we have, we have our fire. Now let's change it so the fire only happens when we press a key. So go to the dragon, get a green flag uh, block get the uh, the go to block so the dragon appears where we see it now every time the game starts and find a forever loop in the control section and also an if block in the control section go to the sensing and find the key press block so uh, and the, basically we want something to happen in a loop only when we press the space key that something is the creation of a clone, but this time we're going to be creating clones of the ball. So the dragon's just going to spin in a loop. Whenever you press space, it's going to create copies of the ball. The ball itself, let's go back there. Uh, we can take out the forever and the create clone because the ball is not going to create copies of itself. The dragon's going to do it over here. Um, that's it. So now the dragon uh, breathes fire whenever we press the space key. So let's make it look like it's actually opening and closing the mouth using those costumes that we uh, uh, we created before. Uh, find the switch costume block in the looks section and another one. Put one inside the if so that when you press the space key you switch the costume to the open position. And the other one is in the forever loop outside so if you're not pressing the key it's going to go to the close position and that's really all you need for this. 
that whenever you press a space key it looks like it opens its mouth and breathes fire. Now there's just a small detail that I, f I forgot but very important. Go to the ball and find the delete clone, delete this clone block, put it at the end to make sure that the ball is actually deleted after it uh, goes transparent. Otherwise uh, Scratch is going to run out of clones and you won't see any more fire coming out after a while. Very important. And the last thing I'm going to do now is add a, a small sound, sound effect. So go to the sounds tab here, click on record. And let's edit that. Uh, let's take out the silence at the beginning, at the end, by just dragging these handles here. Um, just leave the main sound there and click save. And I'm going to edit it maybe a little more. Uh, let's try it. Let's just take a little bit more of the, of the, um, the sound at the, uh, at the end and the beginning, just to make it shorter. So select here, drag, click delete. Same the front. That's good enough. Uh, so now let's create a, a different section here, a different block. Uh, when the green flag is clicked, another forever loop. So this loop here uh, is going to be similar to the one on the top. If something's going to happen when you press the, uh, the space key uh, so it's gonna check all the time if you're pressing the space key and if you do we're gonna start sound that we just created uh, we're also going to add a little weight uh, block here right after the, we start the sound so um, we just basically start the sound and very uh, a little bit later play the same sound again and it goes over and over again until you stop pressing the space key. So let's see, let's see what that sounds like. Well, I think we got it. Uh, that's how you make a fire breathing dragon in Scratch. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.